Chapter 17, The Night of Unforeseen Courage As Sishon's feet touched the ground, the menacing barks of the guard dogs echoed through the eerie silence of the night, sending shivers down his spine. He teetered on the edge of fear, a precipice where tears threatened to flow. But Zishan found his inner strength, and with a fervent prayer to Allah, he implored for courage and fortitude to confront these adversaries and save his father, while also purging his homeland of these saboteurs. His prayer seemed to summon an otherworldly strength, infusing his entire being with newfound determination. Zishan darted down a dimly lit corridor and slipped through an unlocked door. As he entered, the cacophony of canine uproar ceased, and he found himself in the company of shadowy figures brandishing Kalashnikovs. Startled, they scurried about, taking cover like bandits eluding the law. Zishan surveyed his surroundings and carefully charted a course, moving stealthily. Voices resonated from one side of the building, and he instinctively veered away from them, recognizing that any sound could betray his presence to the saboteurs. A daring notion crossed his mind. Perhaps these malevolent individuals, congregated here, were unaware of the tracking device implanted within his body. Summoning his courage, he peeked into a vast chamber, where around fifty ominous figures conversed in English, conspiring about the propagation of evil within his beloved country. They were plotting an assault from within. Among them were those who had undertaken missions in Pakistan after their success in Afghanistan, and others who had previously wreaked havoc in the former East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. Each of them boasted of their past exploits and triumphs, their boasts echoing through the chamber. Zishan, heart pounding, listened intently when he suddenly detected the scent of the ominous figure with cat-like eyes, blonde hair, and menacingly sharp teeth, the same man who resembled a white bear. He was grinning, exuding an air of malevolence. Meanwhile, Inspector Shoaib traced the pendant's signal and reached Sector Z, parking his jeep near Tarek, who was still fussing over the bicycle chain. Tarek, upon seeing Inspector Shoaib, immediately embraced him, his eyes brimming with tears. Uncle Zishan, what happened to Zishan? Tarek implored. Inspector Shoaib consoled the distraught Tarek, explaining that Zishan had ventured inside the bungalow and had yet to return. Tarek had waited with bated breath, fearing the worst. You've done your part, Tarek, Inspector Shoaib reassured him, summoning a police officer to escort Tarek home. Remember, stay indoors. If you venture out, I'll have to take you to the police station. Understood. Okay, uncle, Tarek replied, wiping away his tears. Inspector Shoaib swiftly communicated with the surrounding police units, maintaining secrecy about their movements and positions to avoid alerting the public. Just as he concluded his preparations, Aga arrived on a motorcycle, leaving Inspector Shoaib visibly surprised.